Today I'm going to show how easy it is to automate tasks you may run into as a part of your regular job. The vision behind Studio X is whenever there's something you'd like to automate because it's repetitive or error prone, Studio X enables you to build that automation for yourself. In this particular case, I have a report that shows me sales opportunities. This gets updated regularly by sales representatives. And what I do is every week I come in, I export this particular uh, report, and then when I open it, here's a sample that I've already uh, downloaded and opened, what I wanna do is I need to convert everything from the local currency in which it's entered. Notice, for example, this has euros, dollars, Japanese yen, and Indian rupees into a particular currency so I can plot changes over time. In my case, since I'm based in the US, I want to convert all of that into US dollars. And this is an example report that I've already produced. Uh, in this particular case, you can see that I've added this extra column, total price US dollars, and then I have a formula that does the conversion for me, uh, having already pasted in uh, conversion data from a different spreadsheet that I have, which is populated by another automation that I wrote to go regularly pull conversion rates to make sure that that's up to date with myself. Uh, let's get started in Studio X. To get started, first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna click the app web recorder. I need to quickly switch over to Chrome. Click start recording. It's gonna ask me to indicate the window. I'll click on the window. Now I'm going to click on the export button. I'll click details only, even though it's already selected in this case, it may not always be. And then I need to click on export. And we can see that the files were downloaded. That, I'm gonna click save and return to studio. The only modification I need to do to the steps that I've recorded is I need to add one extra activity called wait for download. And what this is going to do is this is going to make sure that when I download, the file finishes downloading and it records the information since I don't necessarily know what the name of that file is going to be. I'll say save for later use. Let's call it downloaded file. And so what's going to happen is this activity will wait until the file finishes downloading and it will store all the information about that file so that we can reliably use a file that's been downloaded in the next phase of our automation. Now that we've finished downloading uh, the file, I'm just gonna collapse this just to reduce the space it takes up in our designer. I want to say use Excel file. The file that I wanna open is the file we just downloaded. So I'm gonna say use save value, downloaded file, and choose the full name, which includes the full path. Now, because this file does not yet exist, meaning it's going to be created by the previous set of activities I just recorded, I'm going to provide it with what's called a template file. The template file gives it an example of what the file will look like when we run, and you'll see why that will be beneficial here in a second. So if you recall, the raw file that I have looks like this, total price, but no total price US dollar column. And what I ultimately want to create is something that looks like this, which has a total price US dollars. So this is where the template file will come in handy. So now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a column into our opportunity sheet. And because I provided it with a template file, it knows what the contents of this gonna look like. So I'm gonna choose the opportunity sheet is where I want to insert the column. It does indeed have headers. That means that the first row is the header. Where do I wanna insert it? I wanna insert it after, inside the current range, the total price column, the header that I want, uh, I'm gonna enter text myself, and so this is gonna to be total price US dollars. And then the format of that column is going to be currency. And let's go ahead and just make it USD space, which matches the format of all the rest of the currencies in that particular report. And because I had provided the template file is why it knows, for example, that the file that I'm looking at here contains an opportunity sheet. Okay, the next thing I need to do is now that we've inserted this particular column, is I need to insert a sheet for to contain the conversion information. So the sheet name in this particular case, again, I'll just enter my own text. I'll call it conversions. And next thing I need to do, I like clicking the plus button personally, but if I prefer, I can browse the contents of the activities panel over here. You can see it's already filtered to select, or to Excel, sorry. 
and I can choose to copy range. Um, so I have a file open or on my OneDrive that already contains conversion information, which is created by a different automation. So all I want to do is connect to that because it's what we call a static file, meaning that I know the path of the file and it's not going to change. Unlike the downloaded file up here, which does not exist till runtime, this one does exist while I'm creating the automation. So I'm going to connect to my Excel file. I'm going to browse for it on my OneDrive. It's called uh, Currency Conversions. Uh, I want to open it read-only and I don't want to save any changes. I wouldn't want to accidentally change data in that file in this particular one, so that's just the best practice. So now my source is going to be currency conversions. I want to take the US dollar conversions. This means everything is being converted to US dollars. And the destination, I want to put it into uh, the conversion sheet. All right, so what I've done now is we've inserted the total price US dollar column. We've added a sheet for conversions. So the final thing I need to do is I need to insert the formula. So I'm going to take a write cell activity. What do I want to write? Well, I've already got the formula working over here in my sample. So if I open up my normalized sample, you can see I'm using a VLOOKUP to what it's doing is it's looking at the price currency. It's going and matching that in the conversions table, and then it's multiplying that number by the total price. So let's go ahead and just copy this formula. And let's go back to Studio X. And what do I want to write? I want to write that text and I want to copy and paste that formula. Where do I want to write it? I'm going to take advantage of Studio X indicate in Excel. Okay, so what I can do here is I can indicate the H2. So this is where I want to write the first formula. I'll click confirm. You can see that it has grabbed that information and automatically sorted here as where I want to write. And then the final thing I need to do is I need to introduce an autofill. And what autofill is going to do, I'll again take advantage of the indicate Excel. Same location here, H2. And it's going to start by taking this value and then it's going to automatically fill it in for all of the other rows that have data. So it would be the same thing in Excel as, for example, highlighting this and hitting Control D which I just did, but nothing changed because that's exactly what it does. It just copies that formula into all of the cells below that. All right, with that, let's go ahead and close our existing uh, Excel files that are already open. And I should be able to run this and we should see that the file gets exported and then what's saved in the downloads folder should be correctly normalized into US dollars. See that the mouse is getting clicked. File downloaded there. Excel just opened. Studio X comes back. It tells us the last run was successful. And if I go look in my downloads folder, I should be able to open this most recent file. And I can see that there's a total price US dollars already inserted here. And everything looks like it's been correctly normalized into dollars. If I wanted, I could then continue building my automation. And that's something we'll cover in a future video. For example, I could introduce the pivot table uh, that would correctly split up all of the opportunities by their stage.